very interesting and important table that you are going to see now referring to the foundation of the world. The world here you have here, Yesod Olam. In Hebrew, Yesod Olam, the foundation of the world. Then we see what are the other words which are very important. So, Yesod Olam, we have one to the Torah coming here. And based on the first verse of Genesis, yeah, Genesis, the first verse really in the portion also that we read today, Shabbos, is for Jethro, also referring to the Kabbalah Torah, the exception of Torah. It starts with the story of the creation. So what is the first verse in Genesis? It says the following. In Hebrew, Bereshit Bara'i lo'kim et ha'shamayim ve'et ha'aretz. In English, when God began to create heaven and earth. So the first verse contains seven verse. 28 letters. Okay, you can hear all lecture about what you have in this letter, the secret only of these letters. <laughs> In a lecture which I gave really, but in YouTube it is also a few places. If you put the secrets of the first verse in Genesis, the races, you can see amazing phenomena there. How much is behind the seven verses and the 28 letters that you have in this verse. We are going to speak today about the last letters of the word Bereshis. One should know that in According to all the keys to understand Torah, you have first letters, you have second letters, you have middle, whatever. So the last letter saw the main intention of the world. And also know what is really the foundation of the world. So you have the letter, Taf, Aleph, Mem, the last, the last letters of the first Verse Bereshit Bara Elohim, which is a word emet, which you will see just not in the table. So you can see here, Taf Aleph Mem, letter of emet. Then when you start with this Aleph, you have exactly the order of the letters emet. Aleph, Aleph, if you start with this Aleph, yeah? Aleph, Mem, Taf. So it means you have the word truth in the beginning, a little bit changing the order, but then after two words you have the right order, Aleph, the first letter of the truth, the middle letter of the truth, Mem, and the last letters. In fact, those are the, the first letter in the alphabet, and the middle letter of the alphabet and the last letters of the alphabet. So in all the alphabet basically represents the 22 letters of creation. <laughs> because truth is the basis of creation. And this is a, why the letter Aleph Mem Tav represented, also it represents past present and future. Aleph is the first one, the beginning, past, then come middle, you know, present, and then come tough, to says the future. It means if you want to real get the truth of life of everything, you have to see all these three dimensions. The past, how the God, how God created the world, also in the beginning, then the middle of the story of what happened, you know, sign of revelation, exodus, all this, and then the end, yeah, that we have in a you know, clear indication what is going to be, and so on. So if you want to get the whole picture, and the right picture of the world, you should see the beginning, present it now. Some people say, leave maybe the beginning, what the beginning is, to one, so on, no, leave it. For me, it's enough, only the last two. So in Hebrew, the last two are met, death. 
I mean, people who don't look into the past, they don't also <laughs> present the future. So, met is death. Also, he's a make mess of himself, of himself. People will want, tell me every law, like, like, well, Lapid said, we are going to start a new Israel. And, uh, yeah, so, there's no Israel in such a way, because the foundation of Israel is the Torah and so on. The whole story of creation. So, this is so much more to discuss about the Met, but what I want to show you now, amazing table. I was looking in the Torah for the appearance of Yesod, foundation, Olam of the world. No, unbelievable. Comes here, <laughs> I am it. I am it. It might be. I think it might be minimal, definitely Genesis, might be minimal in all the Torah. So already you should remember what I said, that the table that I'm doing is built on program of Dr. Rottenberg, and he says that most important minimal and best meeting. Yeah, this is what you have here in many other tables. So clearly showing that the truth is the foundation of the world. Yeah? When people like today, you know, everyone he has ideology, he has his faith, yeah, and not having the Torah, which is Torah, is called Torah Tamed, the truth. You have your the Torah also here. A Torah, in, in skip is a minimal, definitely it's in Torah many times, but in skip, a Torah, every second letter, also minimal. So minimal, a Torah. Minimal is the truth, which is the Torah. Without Torah, you cannot <laughs> keep the world going. This is what is going on here now, yeah? There's no believe the Nations should give in, believe in the seven laws of Noah, choose in the six uncertain mitzvot, yeah? Then the world will carry on. If not, <laughs> we see how the world is going on, yeah? Then what more we have in Israel? Yeah, it's written clearly that God created the world, the Rishit, for Israel, that Israel should lead the world, should, Israel should be light to the nations, yeah? They, have to be yashar straight with God. They are sarek kel. They are mystery of God. They are shir kel to think about. As we see in this portion of the Torah, accepting of the Torah, God says, you will be for me kingdom of priests, yeah, and so on. This is what Israel is supposed to be. The important Israel, <laughs> you know, they say that in, if you go and you listen to news, I mean, all news, the most uh, name which is mentioned is Israel. Israel. You know, the size of Israel is exactly like the game reserve in South Africa. In South Africa, there's a beautiful game reserve, and the size is exactly like Israel. <laughs> so, this Israel, the whole world is around it. You see what is going on. Your Israel are guilty, Israel is this. You know, Israel is like the brain, according to Kabbalah, like the brain is the heart. If something wrong in the body, the heart. <laughs> yeah, this is the situation. You have to believe in it. You want to have a nice world. It's peace, you know, you also have the word shalom. <laughs> peace, yeah. So, what more we have here? Shabbat, oh, oh, Sabbath. Sabbath is a condition for Israel to last, yeah. In Lord Briti, God said, if not my covenant with Sabbath, no world, yeah. No, so Shabbat is the foundation of the world. So you can see already in this table what is the foundation of the world. I am it, the truth, the Torah, Shabbat, and Shalom. That should be Shalom, peace between nations, between people. So, so what to do here? The Torah tells you what to do. Shamor et kol mitzvotai. Kol ayamim, keep my command all the days. The man eat tablach if you want the aim so if you want it will be good to you to them. Yeah? So to them and to their children forever. So I think it's unbelievable and un very significant table to tell us what is the foundation of the world, what to do, that the world will carry on <laughs> and we go nicely with peace, tranquility, happiness. Yeah, what? You have to Keep the emet, what is the truth, the Torah. By the way, here you have a verse, which is a verse from the sea, splitting of the sea, that we read last week. 
So this is the foundation of of faith, belief in God, yeah. So as I said, very interesting, significant table, important teaching, but you know today people hardly look at Bible code. And this by the very look like it. People will go <laughs> maybe look for Bible code. A lot of troubles would be missed and so not so many Israelis, thousands were were killed by terrorists and so on. Yeah. So the, if they will see in Bible code we did with Professor Rips and Professor Aralik, yeah, for example, Abu, Ma- Abu Mazen, this terrorist, once in the Torah, <laughs> comes exactly with the word, remember what America did to you, the man of Amalek is this. I think the statistic one to million. But the Torah tells you, you cannot make peace with such a man who wants to kill you. To <laughs> How can you? No, but Sharon and all the others said, no, no, Arafat is not person. Arafat, good, we do, we do. Hassan also, <laughs> in the disaster of Oslo Accord, also Professor Ibs at that time, did table, unbelievable, came out, very highly statistic, Accord, Oslo Accord, Paris is guilty, no? You see, up to now they are realizing that thousands of Israelis were killed because of this accord. No, they are looking for another accord. <laughs> Cannot be another accord because they believe that Israel don't have place in Israel. They believe that they should be expelled from Israel and of course also from the world. No, how can you do such a thing? Yeah, Biden, who? He think if he's going to make a new agreement and it will be peace. It will be peace, it will be pieces, yeah. Because one has to know the truth. The truth is the Torah. And the Torah tells you exactly what Jews are, what Israel are, and what uh, the others are, yeah. Okay, no, not looking into it. Even about the disengagement, you know, we did such significant tables with Professor Aralik on the disagreement engagement. You can see it if you put this engagement in Bible code. Ah, one to a million, I think, some statistic. And the words which coming there are Asson, the disaster, and Holocaust. Why Holocaust? Because Holocaust is not only Germany. Holocaust is when you see something which you cannot understand. How can you understand this wild beast? The Hamas killed babies and so on. This is also, this is what we had about the Holocaust, yeah? So this is also when you give possibility, when they gave the Arabs, Sharon thought, when they, they will give, Israel will give this beautiful place, you know, with the sea and so on, who can make so much money, tourists will come from all over the world. <laughs> so what they did was this place, basis of a uh, missile, to the shot, to shot and uh, on the Jews and Israel, uh, and all the uh, nice places, synagogue and so on, they destroyed. Because the only thing that they wanted to destroy Israel, yeah? You, you put, <laughs> it's, you know, it's unbelievable. It's those snakes, you know, who build those uh, tunnels under the, <laughs> uh, under the ground. You know, with millions of, of this. What was the reason? To go out and to kill, to kill Jews, to kill Israelis. Yeah, no, you can do the peace with these people. Okay, unfortunately, people think that they are very clever, they are more clever than the Torah, which tells you the real truth. But we see that all this, what they try to do, did not bring no peace, yeah, only both pieces of things, no, at all. Shalom. So, okay, if you time, if you have time, you have patience, to look into this table room. You find, yeah, see that uh, really when the Torah tells you that the, the world will stand on truth, so those are end letters, yeah. Emet, Emet, yeah, Emet, Aleph Mentaf, and then starting for real, you have Emet, <coughs> right. Very interesting explanation why the first. Letters are not, the, the truth is not in order because only after Shabbos 
the order came. So it was the first stage. They have the same letter foundation, but the completion was later on. Okay. So if you want to understand more about this verse and how much is behind and how many secrets in behind the number of letters, the number of the letter Aleph, the Gematia, <laughs> yeah, the Gematia, which is, uh, if somebody knows what in the Spa Hori, when you make one plus two plus three plus four, so it is for one plus two plus three plus four, up till 73. 70 is Chokhmah. You, know, you can do there is a way to find out such a way if you take the first letter a and the last one like in this case you take <coughs> one and then you take the last one 73 yeah and you divide it into two more it is a plus n and then plus z and then divide it into two and then multiply with n with number so it's a plus z in the case of a me of <coughs> 73, yeah? So you have the one, then you, is 73, yeah? If you come to 74, divide it into two, multiplying in 73. So it we come to the gematria of Bereshit Barai Lokim et Hashemayim which is 2701. 2701. Also remind us the seven the spheres. The, yeah. Two seven and spheres. Two one and two. The upper three and then the lower one seven. No, you see how much is behind Ibu verse, yeah, in English. Okay, it's so much more behind, so if you have patience you now. To look more into my YouTube's about the first verse, it, it's interesting thing. If not, it's a more important thing. Yeah, Don't look into it. So, very important. Shabbos, Jethro, Itro, Itro is the Matiah Torah. Yeah, because he realized the truth. If yeah, this is exactly what Jethro <laughs> is. Yeah, he knew that realized the truth. Accepted the Torah, keeping the Torah, yeah. So, hoping that this will be also, because without this, who knows where we are going to. <laughs>